Welcome back everyone to a brand new Revita run on this channel. Today we're going to be officially for the third time in a row trying to go for our uh, Shard 5 uh, win here. I didn't grab a key, did I? <laughs> Give me a second. We're going to grab a key this time going into our first round because keys are very important. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. I learned from my previous mistakes. Um, and here's what happened. So... Last run, we got our first key piece to go to our shard six unlock. And for that key piece, against, I didn't know this, we had to be at full HP to grab that first key piece, which by accident, I was at full HP somehow. I know, believe it or not, I didn't get hit on that entire floor. I know, it's surprising. But for the second key piece, you have to be at less than one HP uh, to get that key piece. And that is what I didn't know about it, which is why I was kind of confused about why I didn't get my key piece last run. And quite frankly, uh, I don't know if we're gonna ever be able to survive long enough on that low of HP to not only just get the key piece itself, but also live through the entire floor of, of the ocean. I, I think if we get a good enough run, we'll have a chance. And I thought to myself, what do you think is the best gun in the game in terms of like raw DPS and not just having fun with the orbit gun or the blast gun and stuff like that? And I think what I realized is that you get a lot of damage ups in this game. You get a lot of them. Um, what you don't get, though, is a lot of fire rate ups. Now, because you get a lot of damage ups, the best gun to take would technically be the gun with the highest fire rate and the lowest damage. And that just so happens to be the machine gun, which is, wow, you did not die there. Which is why, of course, right now, I am playing with the machine gun. Uh, do I think we're going to win the run? Here's the thing, if, if shields count for, if shields don't count for HP, and we're able to still have shields and be at less than one heart, then we're going to be fine. But if you can't have shields or HP going to get that second key piece, we're not going to win. I'll, I'll lay it on you flat there. There is no way we beat Water Depression without getting hit, like, more than twice. Key Fairy, Big Rock... These are all trash to me. I'm going to go for a curse this first floor. Try me. Um, I don't think there's a chance we can live at that amount of HP. Comfortably, at least. I, I think that we are way too new to Revita as a game. And just the idea of being at... There's a, there it is right there. Um, of being at that low of HP on a late... Like, one of the latest game floors in the game. It, it scares me. Honestly, it does. But I think if we, we try our hardest here, we can definitely get it. Double keys there is fine. Looking for a uh, observatory on this floor for a sub weapon if we can. But yeah, uh, I played some Revita yesterday on stream for the first time ever uh, during the Pyramid Ultimate, which is a roguelike... You are a piece of shit. A, a roguelike gauntlet made by none other than uh, Mr. Tyler Alexa Kid 64 himself. And it was great. Um, the Pyramid is, is definitely, I think, one of those games that has a really high chance of popping off if the right people play it uh in its first release i i was given like early access to the pyramid for when it first came out there's a mini boss there by the way uh and i had a good time with it now back then in my channel it was around what my like six month of doing youtube i was pretty much only doing isaac and isaac alone which meant that i didn't really have a lot of other roguelike experience um Lovely shell. I mean, range is nice, right? Our accuracy is complete trash, though, with this. Uh, I really hadn't, like, played a lot of roguelikes that weren't just Isaac, and then I played Gungeon, like, once in my life, and I thought it was just okay. So, I didn't really have a big pool of, of games to pull from in the Pyramid. Now, going to it this round, or this, this like, second update here, uh, because there was a new deck for Inscription, like, you know, they had Minecraft, they had Phantom Abyss, like, there were some more games that I had, like, experience with, um, in that genre, which made it so much more fun. Now, did I win? Absolutely not. Because my strategy was, I'm not a very good gamer. I think we can all agree with that. I'm not a very good gamer. But what I am good at is just i think like just generally having decent logic with my thought process and there were two new decks added to the pyramid that were more like meme decks it was a wordle deck and it was a wikipedia deck and it, those of you who don't know i used to be i fell down that hole excuse me i used to be a wikipedia speedrunner uh back in the day so i, I had some knowledge with that I, i'm pretty good at finding uh you know the proper uh categories and stuff like that and 
I chose Wikipedia, and I chose Wordle for my two decks, and then I chose... Uh, I put Isaac, Inscription, Ravita, Minecraft, and Phantom Abyss in there. Now, here was the problem, was you only get to play five decks for a standard round. What is this? Fireworks. Enemies spawn a bunch of missiles on death? If they hurt me, I hate this item, but we're going to find out. Uh, anyways, I had ended up pulling from my five things. GeoGuessr, Wikipedia, Wordle, Ravita, and Phantom Abyss. Now, I'm bad at GeoGuessr. I, I have no geographical knowledge. I cheated on every single geography test in high school and middle school because I didn't know where anything was. And I have, I have left the country. You know, I have left the country a couple times to go to different places. I've gone to Singapore. I've been to Australia. I've been to Hong Kong. Uh, I've been to, to a decent amount of places. But I didn't really explore anywhere in those places outside of just the major cities. Cookie jar. We probably actually don't want this, um, because we want to be at less than 1 HP for our second key piece. I'm just going to leave. We are not getting a very amazing floor 1 right now. Uh, but anyways, I'm not a very worldly or di like diverse person, so I was not going to know a lot of these, these GeoGuessr things. And so we, we, our first game ended up being Geo. So I booted up, and I'm like, oh, God, oh, geez, Bobby. Uh, I loaded it up, and I was like, all right, guys, we're going to try to speed through Geo here because I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing. This guy takes keys. Or is this, is this the chef guy? It's the chef guy. Gives you two shields? Hell yeah, brother. Thank you. Um, and we play the first two rounds of GeoGuessr. And then GeoGuessr goes, hey, you got to pay to play GeoGuessr now. And I was like, huh? Like, hey, you got to pay. And I was like, I don't want to pay like i played geo like once a year so we had to do a, a bit of a, a switch up there hides your hp while in combat oh joy very dust longer iframes say no more i think it was worth the curse for sure so we, we go on to geoguesserfree.com to play some free geo guesser which i'm gonna say right now mistake for some reason in the free geo guesser you don't get to you get like a picture you don't get to move like almost at all and our first picture was on a road next to a farm and we could move two feet forward and one foot backwards and that was the entire movement option for that and so i i just guessed like maybe we're in like i don't know like upper mexico like i'm i hate this game like southern texas because it, it had like a little bit of rolling hills but not too many and it was a pretty it was like arid or dry area Turns out it was in an island uh, in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> I don't even know what island it was. It was like just some random ass place. And I was like, all right, not up to a good start here, right? We can definitely do better than this. So we start our next round. And this round, we're in the middle of a store. And the store is selling a bunch of just like, obviously weird American slogan shit. Like, this polo shirt is my life. It, it's not going to be an American type shirt. And uh, the a lot of the people there were wearing like hijabs, which is not very common in America, at least where I'm from. So it was obviously not America, and it was in a different language as well. It was in uh, Arabic. So it had to be like somewhere around Saudi Arabia, maybe like Egypt, somewhere like in that range. Because it, it looked very like Egypt-esque to me. And we guessed, and we were actually, we were pretty close. It was like a, a, a 1,000 point round, so I was pretty happy with that based off of just like pretty much one picture. And then our next round happens. And round three is where shit starts to go down the drain. Because round three was, by and large, the worst round. Now, round one, we got to move two spaces forward and one space back. Here comes round three. In round three, we get to turn our camera to the right and back to the left. And that is it. And we are on a hillside facing a stone wall. Now, I thought I was being kind of big brain because I was like, all right, the wall is made out of a gray type of stone, which, um, you know, shows that we're in some kind of mountainous area in my mind, at least to some degree, right? And the grass is very lush and it's very green. And I, I, I like the way the, the, the grass looks here. And I'm thinking like Ireland because it, the, the, the crumbling stones, like all that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll go for this. We're going to do everything here, by the way. Because we're, we're not going to need HP going forward too much. And the raid is going to be super, super helpful. Look at that shit. You want to give up anything here? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. But we guess Ireland and it ends up being like... 
somewhere in North America. And I was like, fuck you. All right, that kind of blows. So I'm like, whatever, you know, we're having a couple of bad rounds. Nothing that a little bit of a pick-me-up can't fix. And the next round happens. And this round, th this round, right? Oh, we gotta be at, are we at full HP? I think we're at full HP. This round is where stuff starts to come together for me. Opens up. I see a couple of palm trees. I'm like, all right, it's gonna be like a, a coastal, very like humid, uh, maybe like a, around the equator type of area. And I'm going through. The the houses are, are very short, like they're short stack houses almost. Beautiful heart or key piece, by the way. And um, the writing is it's not in English. So I start thinking. A coastal area that is home to shorter houses and palm trees. And my brain, despite me never going to this country or like seeing it ever, my brain goes Thailand. And I was like, Thailand? Could this be Thailand? And someone in chat, uh, Duffy in chat goes, I think it's Thailand. And I'm like, you know what? We're gonna, I hate this game. We're gonna go Thailand. And I'm literally like, I'm, I am quite possibly one mile away from the exact place this was. And I held my, you know, this is all from my own memory here, so I could be completely fucking wrong. But uh, we were very close there, and it it felt very gratifying. I dashed, I swear to you, I dashed. It felt very gratifying. And then we got like a, it was like a 9,000 point round, and our goal was to hit 18,000 for our pyramid points. So it didn't really pan out. Now, the wordle happens, and this is where shit gets a little bit uh, crazy. Because I'm, I'm a bit of a wordle head myself. What the hell is this? That's pretty good. Yeah, we're going for this 100%. Goodbye, Key. Um, and I I used to play Wordle like every day. I've kind of fell off. I play I play Hurdle now because I'm a bit of a uh, an audiophile. Don't quote me on that. What is this? Damage and highly increases speed, damage, and bullet size. Dude, I I'm gonna do it. Like we're buying it. It's gonna give us a lower fire rate, but. I think it was worth the trade-off there. I think it was definitely worth the trade-off. Uh, anyways, because I want to be a funny guy, I, I guess Joker for my first like word because Joker is is very funny. He's a funny guy. His name's a freaking Joker, baby. How can he not be a funny dude? Uh, and Joker gets me all grades. There was no proper letters in that statement. I was like, all right, that's not very good. So I guess um, audit next. A U D I T. A very good vowel word to guess. Uh, there were a couple yellows, but nothing too major. I get to like guess four, and it's we have like we have uh, E D at the end, or no, we have, we have uh, E space D at the end, and that has to be an L in our word somewhere. So I, I'm like, okay, it's gotta be like an E L D kind of thing, and I guess the word um, wield W E I L D, and wield is right except for the first letter W is wrong, and I'm kind of like shit, the W's wrong. I'm on my final guess of the wordle, and it could either be field or yield. And now I kind of cheated here a little bit. I'm going to be real with you. Someone in chat said, this this is kind of a dumb word. And I, I'm like, all right, well, field is a pretty average word. Yield is kind of the dumber of those two, right? Like, if, if you're going to take field and yield, you're going to think that, that yield is a bit dumber than field. So I'm like, it has to be yield. So with honestly, utmost, like 100% like certainty, I guess yield, and I'm 100% correct. Was I cheating? I told chat to not say anything, and once you look at something, um, like, you can't unsee it. So, I didn't cheat, chat cheated. And I think either way, I probably would have guessed yield, because I don't like guessing the easy words. Wordle has a habit of, like, putting out just, like, stupid words for fun. So if it's gonna be between yield and field, I'm always gonna guess. Yield's also a bit more fun to me as a word. So I guess yield, I was right. Now here's the problem. We have to do one more wordle, and it is a, a Star Wars themed wordle for our second one. Now, most of you know, I'm a pretty big fan of Star Wars. I know a lot about the, the lore and the legends and the canon, all of that. I've read a lot of the Darth Vader comics. I watched all the TV shows, stuff like that. I'm, I'm pretty well versed in my Star Wars lore. This Star Wars wordle is not for the casual, even like expert fan like myself, this is for like the people who will browse the Star Wars Wikipedia for obscure facts kind of wiki. Because, oh, look at that secret room right there. I thought I knew a lot about Star Wars. I'm trying to guess this word. I, I'm not getting it. Like, I am on my final guess, and I have 
uh, like, almost nothing found. And I, the word ends up being Kessa. And I'm like, Kessa? Like the Kessler run from Solo? And no, it turns out Kessa was mentioned once in a Star Wars book, and it is a blue star in a different galaxy. And that is literally all that is there for the word. It was just a star that they mentioned in the book in one line. And that was the trivia. So I'm telling you, man, if you're going to be doing some of these like themed wordles or hurdles, any of that shit, it is not for the faint of heart. You might you might suffer a lot doing that. Dude, our build, by the way, is kind of hot trash right now. We got to get like something. We could do a flawless here. We could do a flawless here. I have to be a little bit careful for that. We, we could get one done, I think, though. Just watch the red lines. Good. I... That bullet was... Why did it go in that direction, dude? That was not supposed to happen. Well, no flawless this time. Well, that was very close. I want to see a sub-weapon coming up here pretty soon. I'm kind of lacking a sub-weapon right now. I'm so focused, dude. Can you just, like, stay still and do your little other thing? There we go. Nope, wrong thing. Wrong thing. There, that's, that's perfect. Just stay there for a minute. Ooh! <laughs> we did it, boys. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. All right, what you got for me? You got some damage? Do double damage? Huge. We're going to need that going forward here. Now, because we got to be at 1 HP on the Ice World, we can start upgrading stuff and trying to get a little bit of extra DPS back from that uh, one item we got this floor. But I think the run, it's, it's, it's not great. It's one of the weaker ones I've had in this update for sure, but we can get it back. Oh, we can't upgrade here. Shoot. Oh, I, I like freeze. I do actually. We're gonna take that and then we're going to also We're just gonna because we can always turn these into relic hammers later if we want and oh, Yeah, I like that one. Sure. Uh, we have a pretty decently fine floor coming up next. I, I feel pretty confident about this I really really do but um Yeah, the wordle was awful Geoguessr was awful and now we have Wikipedia uh, next and the challenge I have is to get from a random article to, hold on, um, Milky Way chocolate bar, the, the, the chocolate bar Milky Way, within five clicks. Now, I'm thinking to myself, that's going to be difficult, um, because I, I used to run Wikipedia speedruns back in the day for fun, and anybody knows that five clicks is going to be way too little. Like, I'm, I'm talking like it's going to be not even close to enough to get the proper thing out there, right? Uh... But I give it a try anyways. And my first random article I click on is the um, Israel Python Missile. And I was kind of like, it, it sounds bad to go from a, a Python Missile to Milky Way Chocolate Bar. But uh, it, it, it definitely is not. Because here's the thing. Is Israel, as we all know, is a place on the Earth. And where is the Earth located? The Milky Way Galaxy. And Wikipedia has a disambig disambiguations page. Uh, for different versions of the same word. So if I can find a way to get from Israel to Earth to Milky Way Galaxy, the disambiguation, I can get to the Milky Way chocolate bar pretty easily. Now here's why I hate Wikipedia. Uh, not once in the Israeli uh, missile article do they mention Earth. Despite a missile being a, a an earthly weapon and... It being tied to Israel, it does not mention Earth at all, which I find to be, that was terrible. A little bit strange, to be quite frank with you, um, but not a huge deal. I click on Israel. I get into Israel, and there is, again, no mention of Earth, which I think is kind of weird, because it's on the planet Earth. Uh, so I'm like, whatever, we'll keep going here. And then I find the phrase Western Hemisphere, which is obviously going to have Earth on its page. We're going on three clicks right now. I click Western Hemisphere. That's our third click. I find Earth, Earth, click number four. I find Milky Way Galaxy, click number five. In order to get to, sorry, no, that was click number four was Earth. In order to get to uh, Milky Way, 
disambiguations, it would be our final click. That That's not going to happen. Because disambiguations takes you to a separate page with more links to go to your other spellings of the word or other meanings of the word. So we literally cannot get there in five clicks. Uh... We're going to be taking a lot of hits going forward. We can't really just afford to have leaking battery, and that's not worth my HP. This run is really not good right now. We even, like, went back onto those articles and used the, uh, the control F to try and find, like, if Earth was mentioned earlier or, like, Hemisphere was mentioned earlier, but no. Like, we found the fastest way there. It just wasn't panning out for us. Be oh, this fly is crazy. Because it wasn't possible. I think if I had to give one criticism of the Wikipedia thing on um, the Pyramid Ultimate, it would be that five clicks is way too little. I think seven is a really good number because you can get, like, easily really far away. I mean, there was one I did a long time ago that was we had to try to get from, um, I think it was, like, Nintendo Wii to Taco Tuesday. And it we never even found a way there. And that was, like, years and years ago for me. Oh, God. Uh, but Wikipedia speedruns are no joke. Like, they are some of the most fun and high-octane ways to absorb information. And I think if, you, if you're bored on, like, a Saturday, try one out. Get, get some friends in Discord and do a Wikipedia race. Because those, those are honestly... They're, they're so fun. It sounds really boring, I know. But they are just ridiculously fun. What do you do for your special? You're dead. The cursed enemy is now dead. A shield is huge. Um, we should not heal up anymore. That would be a terrible idea. You want to... Wait, how many floors do we have left? You know, we can afford to go for one more heart container. Uh, so we want to at least be able to trade away a decent amount um, to our... What's it called? Uh, our train station man. The, the blacksmith. This floor. We want to get anything DPS-wise charged the hell back up. This will be a very good room for getting souls, though. Go for it. I'm going to go for four containers and store my souls for a heal on the water world. Yes. Don't get hit. Oh. Oh. For how long, though? <laughs> Just kill with everything? Is that the, the challenge here? Hey. Okay. Good, you're gone, you're go Oh my god. Freak, there's tentacle men in here now? Please. Oh, what are the- there's bone men here. You, you gotta go first, because you are complicated. We beat it. That was a bit of a challenge for sure. What, is that the triple shot? Ooh, lowers damage and fire rate? I don't care. I love triple shot. I mean, it's- we're gonna upgrade it, obviously. We're gonna do a lot of upgrading this floor. But that- that's pretty damn good. Um, it, it is a DPS down at first, but getting it upgraded, it'll be a pretty decently sized DPS up, especially during boss fights, because bosses have really big hitboxes, and you really want to have the, uh, the wide shots for those, and the range, of course, but range is not the most important stat until the very late game. Okay, we'll go for just a little bit more for our fourth container, then we'll be fine. Our shields are looking mighty healthy. I, I'm feeling good. I'm like Michael Buble right now. I'm feeling good. I don't know how this song goes. It's not his song. It's somebody else's, but he covered it. But I know it from him. The Michael Buble uh, feeling good. What's that song even called? Well, who even is? Okay, here's my thing, right? I had a friend, and actually it was Merman High School, who had this picture on his computer of Michael Buble eating corn in a very, like, strange manner. Like, he was, like, biting it like it was, like, an ice cream cone, right? Um, and to me, it felt like... Because Merm knew who Michael Buble was, that everybody should know who Michael Buble was. I had no fucking clue who the, d the dude was. Oh boy, a map. That's not a big deal. We'll take it, sure. Um, and I had no clue who Michael Buble was. Now, funnily enough, the, the girl I was dating back in high school, um, her brother was driving me and her, like, somewhere. I forget where. But he started playing Michael Buble in his car, like, you know, um, just out of nowhere. And I heard the song, like, feeling good. So I'm like, oh, he's, okay, so he's a musical artist. I, I, I'm learning some new stuff today. So I go on to uh, Spotify, and I look up Michael Buble. And I see that he's pretty much just like a Christmas music guy. 
And I, I had to ask myself, like, obviously Mariah Carey exists and a couple other artists like that, but how do you get big? And I, I'm being serious here. How do you get big when you can only really make hit songs at one point every year? Like, how does that work? Because I'll be real with you. If I was only able to get good streams once a year on my music because I make good Christmas music, I probably would just choose a different job. Now, it could just be a passion thing for him, sure. Oh, brother. That was that was arcing in a different manner. Get the frick out of here, piece of shit, boss. Your dad, at least, is the good thing. But, like, think of, like, Michael Buble, uh, Mariah Carey. What are some other examples of only Christmas artists? Those are, like, the only mainstream two, aren't they? I'm trying to think, because, like, nobody knows, like, I'm going to get flamed for this, but does anybody know the name of the guy who sang Jingle Bells? Because it, 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 it was an older, like, oldies artist, right? But I don't think it was, like, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> I don't think it was, like, uh, Frankie Valli or any other kind of Franks, I guess. Okay, we're upgrading heavily here. We're going to go for triple shot next. Get out of here. Boom. Now we only have shields, and wow, well, we have everything. How's our shots look now? That's pretty good. And now we can heal back up to just one heart or less than, and we should be fine to be able to get our uh, second key piece on this floor. But, I, like, nobody knows the guy who sang Jingle Bells. I don't even know who the hell Michael Buble was until I had to look him up on my own. Out of, like, a completely random meme format. So, do you really get any recognition from... Being a once a year, like, musical artist. Dude, we actually have a great build now. Those upgrades have been kind of kind of busting down. You see this shit? We're, like, dealing actual mate. How are you so high up? Can I even get up there? Gee, this, you are insane, dude. Get back here. Goodbye. Wild. We get extra damage, though. That's really, really good for us. Don't really care for the metro ticket. You should have used your map to find your secret room. Okay, it's after our fountain. Good to know we get two chest rooms coming up here, so save your keys, I guess, for those. The map, honestly, dude, kind of a cracked item. I dodged? I dodged that? That was unfortunate. That was also a terror. Dude, the water section, it, it kills me. It really does. All right, we're going to be at uh, one heart now. Uh, I'm going to actually not heal up all the way. I don't know if it, you have to be at less than one or at one. Can I see my crystal room soon, please? I want to see my son. Hold on. I'm going to kind of go gamer focus here for a minute. Because uh, I really, really want to get this key piece and not die. And I'm sorry, but if shields count for HP, we don't get the key piece this time. It is going to be a long time before we see a full shard 6 run. I'll just say that much here. But what we could do, actually... We can't... Oh, we can't afford this. Why did I... Fuck me, dude. We can shoot it for souls, though, I think. Yeah, okay. We can save those, I guess. We, we wasted a key there, but we now have knowledge. Uh, future knowledge. You know what, dude? I'll oblige. Concussion bullet. It's really not that good. But I guess anything right now helps. We can make it into a, a, a relic hammer, I guess? Secret room in this room. We gotta look for that. But how can it be a secret room and the crystal room? Is this real or fake? Maybe that counts as like a secret room. Or like just like an unheard of room. Do we get the key piece here or not? The chance. There is a strong chance we can get to shard 6 on this run. Take it. Heal up. You're gonna need this, brother. You're gonna need this. All right, well. Pack my fingers. We gotta kind of focus here now, don't we? I guess the map doesn't show you where your secret room's going to be, huh? That kind of blows. I wanted to have, like, easier access to my rooms. As somebody who sucks at hitting the walls before your room ends, that would have been nice to have, I guess. But it's not a huge deal. I think that we could probably beat the boss on this floor. Because that boss has a lot of weird tentacles coming out, and they, I can hit them with all three of my bullets at once, we should be doing some major, 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 major damage to that guy. Not there, huh? Oh, back up. 
It's just, can we get there with good HP? Because right now, I can't see, like, what my HP is. That's a shitty enemy. Frozen? You suck balls. Uh, in combat, so we could just... Oh, I see you. We could just randomly die, and I wouldn't even know about it until we're actually dead. That helps out a lot, actually. I think we're, we're fine for fire rate. I'd like to have more, but I'd rather, I think, focus on just trying to get damage. Oh, you're floaty men! That's kind of cute, actually. I, I vibe with that, that enemy design. That's very, very cute. All right, go on down. I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous. I have not had a successful run to unlock shard 6 ever. So this is the first time, and I am I am feeling it. Hold on. You shot the floor because you're trash? We're going. What are you doing? Well, I guess we'll never know because you're dead. All right, just keep saving up your souls for HP, and I think there shouldn't be an issue. Why is there a... Is it like Seaweed Man? Why do you belong... What, what is your theme down here? You're confused and frozen. Terrible. I feel so bad for you. A shield? Dude, we have no chance of losing, though. I think we cannot take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not, 10 hits? We're not going to take 10 hits against this boss. Absolutely not. Absolutely freaking lootly not. I'm going to go gamer focus, like, either way, though. So forgive me for going quiet for a hot minute here. Crack the fingers. Crack the neck. Let's get it going. Don't stand in the corners. Okay, the DPS we're dealing is definitely not bad. Here comes the head. Good dodge. Okay, the mines are coming down. Good. Huge. Trigger that mine so you don't have to worry about it later on. Okay. I He was coming from the other side, I thought, but I was just wrong. Still, one hit so far. Wow, one hit, huh? That I'm I'm actually really happy with that. For a very average run, I really am. We get shields back and damage. I that I, I could not be more proud of myself there. Well, we have our keys. We're going on to God, is it already next floor is ticking tower top? We're gonna get shard six today, I think, boys. We're gonna get shard six today. Ceremonial knife. I don't care about bleed. <laughs> Ember pearl. That actually sounds like a thing I would actually care about. Let's try it out. Here we go. I'm so itchy. I gotta shave, man. I've been trying to like grow a beard out now because someone in Discord told me I couldn't grow a beard and look good. So I've been trying my best to grow an actual beard out and I've been trimming it up and everything, but this shit just, it's so itchy. And this is my longest I think I've had. Like, an, I had never tried to trim my beard with like, Scissors ever is the first time I try to like actually keep my beard up and I I don't hate it. You know, I don't hate it. I think that I probably look a little bit better clean shaven, but I kind of like when somebody is like, oh, but you're only 19. You look 26. I kind of like that shit. It's funny to me. Uh, no, I'm not a good boy today. Uh, I don't think I look that old. I think I look like I'm 19 either way, but uh, it, it's a very somewhat flattering compliment to get occasionally that I think is just kind of it's more funny of, of the factor of, like, telling somebody that I'm, I'm 19. And they're like, no way. It, it's just, it, it makes for a good conversation, I guess. But I'm going to definitely shave it. Oh, because it, it's, it's summer now. And summer in, in Texas is brutal. Like, it's already hitting almost uh, 100 degrees every single day here. And I, I'm an outside person. I go for runs. I, go, I work out a lot. I go to the pool. Like, I'm a very outside person. And uh, it is not good to have this going on in the outside world. What, what are we going to get here? I didn't mean to, but we got something. I, I meant to just not take it, but now we have a celestial weapon for no reason. Great. 
Uh, we'll try to Relic Hammer that in the future if we can. <laughs> if we get a chance to, at least. But that was a poor misplay on my part. I clicked too fast. I'm trying to be so careful right now. Can we go in here? Yo, zero key. We can't buy it, though. Oh, no, it's just one of you. Hey, man, damage helps. Our stats are looking very aggressively average, but you know what? That helps. Is this the floor? We get the key right door right there. This should be shard... Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, this should be, a, like, the shard six thing, right? It's this door right here? I don't have a key for that. I feel kind of dumb. Can I shoot that chest? I can't. No other secrets in here? We're on the same floor? Is that just what shard six is? Or do we get to go like further after we fight acceptance? I guess that would make the most sense to me. Going further after acceptance? That an old photo awakens something new in you. Or some, something old in you. What could- are we, are we regaining our memories finally of like before the tower? Is that what's happening here? Oh, that dodge! There's a bomb right there by the way, be careful. Did you see that dodge? I need a key for that, don't I? Well... That's a, that's a key door. Our Celestial Weapon still is going to give us no buffs. Are we going to even live through Acceptance? Like, this run does not feel like an Acceptance slash Enigma run. I mean, we totally could. Like, we have a decent amount of HP, but we've been known to throw runs better than this against that boss. Way better than this. We get a shop, though, we can maybe enter in. Uh, I'm not going to make any promises because we've had a, a rough time with that recently. In that key department. Free? Alright, well, uh, I guess save your soul charge for a heal and hopefully you're able to win this. I'm going to have to go real gamer here, it feels like. Why do I always fall for the same shit? I, I, it, it just happened, dude. It... Okay, that was cool. That, no, that's epic, dude. Just turn around within three seconds. I can't even see my goddamn HP, man. I've taken, what, three hits? Two hits? Somewhere in there. I can barely find time to go in is the issue. I didn't mean to dash there. I don't know why I dashed. Is this the only attack you know? The small bullet got me, huh? We're gonna be here for a minute. Our DPS is trash. Why? I couldn't- I had no chance there, dude. The tier was like they were spreading so perfectly away. Okay, that's epic, dude. You just- yeah.
I tried to dash. I'm just not good at the game, I guess. We can't find any chance to approach him. I'm gonna assume we have to heal right there. I don't know if we had to or not, but we had a good time too, so why not? Like, what are you supposed to do there? <laughs> he just, it targets you. We've done like no damage so far. Not even close to phase two. We had a chance that time, it looked like. Some healthy crits off, maybe? The bomb still went off in his phase two zoom in there, huh? I tried. Why am I so bad at Ravita, man? Oh, why am I so good at Ravita, dude? That was my last hit, really? Well, no shard six, that's cool. I'm so bad at this fucking game, dude. I mean, to be fair, our stats that run had, it were not very good. <laughs> I probably should not have grabbed a triple shot, but we, we made our bed. <sighs> we know how to unlock shard six. We just haven't unlocked shard six yet, so. We'll get there eventually, but as always, I've been BD1P, peace out. And goodbye.